Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a Java project on electricity billing system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am calling this object of electricity class. It's a GUI form. So to create one, you need to go over here in the project package, click on new, then click on swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated, the dot, dot Java file for the code and dot form file to create the interface. Okay. This is the uh, simple interface added uh, this button from this palette. Okay. This is a J button. These are the J labels. You can uh, design it from here. Okay. I have provided the color, the font size, okay, and name this panel, this panel as a ELEC panel and provided margins over here. These are the text fields and this is a J text area, okay, this one, J text area. Let's move to the code. Uh, this is my class and uh, okay. So these are the fields that uh, that will be added once you design the panel. This is an object of JFrame class. I have named it as this and uh, this is my constructor and these are the lines that you will require. So whenever you create an object of electricity class, your form, this form will be appear, uh, will get available. Okay. So you need to pass your panel name, which is this electricity panel of type J panel under this method set content paint uh, it takes j panel as parameter so i am passing this over here and this method i am setting it to null so the location of the the relative location okay this is for the location so location of the panel will be over to the center of the screen and not anywhere else and uh, this method set default close operation so Whenever the screen, the screen appears, uh, there is three uh, buttons over here for uh, like this. Okay. For minimizing, for maximizing and then closing. So this close button, uh, close the application. Okay. And then uh, let's check this functionality of uh, the print button. Okay. Uh, right click over here, then click on create listener and your listener will be created the this uh, okay this is the listener print bill uh, what i'm doing here is calling this method print bill which i have created this is the method okay what i'm doing here is uh, first calculating the total i'm extracting the data from the uh, text field the kilowatt hour okay and multiplying it by 6.15 okay so it's uh, calculating it and uh, then uh, storing this in the form of double data type in the uh, variable total okay so the over here we need to add all the uh, data into this text area okay so what i'm doing here is uh, this this is the text tree okay uh, first i am print is my name of the uh, text area okay so i am just adding all these lines this uh, first the heading is uh, electricity bill receipt and then on the next line for i am adding this so the uh, next string appears in the next line this is the next string similarly okay so i am uh, extracting the text with meter data which the user enters over here okay and then i am uh, uh, adding this string uh, uh, besides this string Met meter number then name okay name dot get text and uh, units consumed whatever the user has entered and the total amount and uh, concatenating it with this uh, the rupee sign and uh, I'm formatting it uh, so that our answers uh, answer total appears in two decimal format okay okay it is a simple 
project. So let's see how it works. Let's say meter number is one zero something. Okay, name is uh, uh, this, and units consume. Let's say five hundred kilowatt hour. Pin bill. Okay, this is okay. It works. So I am getting the right. Uh, data which i have entered over here okay the name and the units consumed okay and it's the amount in the two decimal format okay it's working this is it i hope you understood the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas